If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a library and bookshelf tour. I'm so excited. I've been meaning to film one of these for the longest time. So a little bit of context. I moved into this house two years ago and it's actually the first time I've had a home library. In my 20s, I was living abroad. I couldn't buy books, sad times, um, because it was too much hassle to move them around. Every time I did buy books, I had to give them away before moving to the next country. So it's actually very nice to be able to have a home library. Now, is it my dream library? Definitely not. I'm gonna move in about a year's time. And I think I'm gonna go all out then with like the built-in bookshelves, the ladder, the dream. But for now, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna leave the bookshelves till last. But first, let me show you the rest of the library. So this is what my library looks like when you first walk in. We've got the bookshelves here at the back. We also have a reading chair here. One really cool thing about this room is that it's facing the front garden. So lots of natural sunlight, which I love. And another bookshelf over here. And then we've got the desk. Now you might be thinking this desk looks a little bit cluttered. I justify everything on this desk for having a purpose, whether that be vibes or practicality. <laughs> Starting with the desk, I've always got a book on display. Currently, it stays at the Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Yagisawa. If you've not read this book, read it. It's so cosy. The cover is everything. We've got some candles. You need a long candle. If you're an aesthetic book girly, you need some candles for your desk. Got a lot of stationery. Like, I have too much stationery, in fact. Some jelly cats. This is my strawberry jelly cat. I've got the peach one, but that's in my bedroom. And I like to keep my iPad on my desk on this little stand over here. Got my Instax camera and this art is actually from Australia. I bought it earlier on in the year when I was over there. And it was painted by someone in the Aboriginal community. So a profit from the sale goes to them, which is really, really cool. And my friend crocheted me this, I think it's a coaster. I use it as a coaster anyway. Recently bought a sunset lamp just for the vibes. And of course, my laptop. Quick sneak peek into my drawers. So keep a lot of stationery in here. I have too much washi tape. It's actually an illness. Got some stamps, some ink, some other stuff. This is my sticker drawer. It might not look like much on camera, but it is epic. Like I collect stickers. I have enough stickers to stick on the FOD of everyone in Britain. So this is my desk chair. I have a pillow. I bought this cushion when I was in Thailand just because I'm a pink girly, love it. And then next to the desk, we've got my ring light and my bookshelf. So let's go through this bookshelf. So the first three shelves are Harry Potter themed. Not gonna go too much into it, but got my rock collection over here and also down here. Here's me. <laughs> so yeah, these shelves are pretty packed to the brim. Now beneath it, I've got my theatre shelf and also random knickknacks. I've got my Hamilton book. I've got all my theatre brochures. I started going to the theatre just over two years ago. And every single time I go, I have to buy a brochure. Got some bookmarks, my other camera. Don't even ask me what this is. This was so expensive. I bought this when I was in Amsterdam. <laughs> This next shelf are books from my childhood. I was obsessed with the Stormbreaker series as a kid, so I've got a bunch of Anthony Horowitz books. I also really like the Maze Runner trilogy, His Dark Materials. Right, my obsession when I was a teenager, I think I was even a kid, I can't remember, but it was the Inkheart books, so Inkheart, Ink Spell, Ink Death. If you've read these books, let me know. I don't know many people that have. And the final shelf, I've got a bunch of cookbooks, language learning materials. In this green bag thing, I've got a bunch of K-pop albums and a lot of art books. Every time I go to an art gallery, I do like to buy the book. So got a little collection going there. And now onto my actual bookshelves. So this is what they look like. I bought bookshelf extenders, but because I've got paneling, on my walls. They don't lie flush against the wall, so if you can see the top shelves are coming out a little bit. Starting with shelf number one, at the top we've got some fantasy series. We've got the Poppy War trilogy, the Shadow and Bone trilogy, Hunger Games. I really need to do a Hunger Games reread soon. We've got some Sarah J Mass books. I've not read these two. Don't know if I ever will. Might unhaul at the end of the year. And then we've got my Twilight books. My pride and joy. 
On the next shelf, we've just got a bunch of different hardbacks. These are hardbacks that are weird sizes and I just really don't know where to put them. And then we've got some Cassandra Clare books. We've got the Infernal Devices series and the Mortal Instruments series. And then we've got my Greek mythology shelf. I'm obsessed with these books. We've got the Waterstones edition of Circe and the Song of Achilles in all of their glory. I also have this Greek mythology jar which I just sort of use as a bookend. And yeah, a bunch of Greek mythology books. Most of them I've not read. I need to change that very, very soon. This next shelf are paperbacks. Now I've tried to do a rainbow moment. I don't know if you'll be able to tell because it's not perfect, but we've got orange and then yellow, red, pink, and purple. On the next shelf, we've got books that have a white spine and then we've got some classic literature. So story behind most of this. I really want to be a classics girly. I am not, but I'm trying. So recently I gave Pride and Prejudice a go, didn't end up finishing it, really need to. I want to read Little Women. In fact, let me show you this edition of Little Women. I just think it's so stunning. So this is the cover and it's got gold edges. In fact, all of my classic books are really, really pretty. I want to collect all of the Chilton classics. I've currently got Wuthering Heights. The next shelf are books that have a dark spine. And as you can see, I've got a lot of gaps in my bookshelves, but that's fine because I'm just going to buy more books. And the final shelf right here at the bottom is my poetry collection. This is pretty epic. I love poetry and I want to keep growing my collection. On to bookshelf number two. We've got my light box up there. Now I'm in two minds. Should I get rid of it? It's giving 2020. And even though I've got a represent, don't know if it's the vibe anymore. Right next to it, I've got my Zodiac Academy book. Still need to buy book eight. Tell me why it's 25 pounds on Amazon. On the next shelf, we've got a collection of mostly hardbacks, a lot of dark academia here. And I really like this book. It's called The Book Lover's Bucket List. And if you're someone that likes to visit bookish locations in the UK, it's a really, really good one. And then I've got the Kate Stewart Ravenhood trilogy and a Dom candle. If you know, you know. I'm not going to say anything more about this trilogy. The next shelf is just pretty much hardbacks. And I've also got the Illumicrate editions of The Priory of the Orange Tree and A Day of Fallen Night. And yeah, really like the shelf. I think it's very, very pretty. Some more hardbacks below. These are hardbacks that are slightly shorter than the average hardback. And another bookish jar. This one says Gothic Romance. And then have to represent my favourite book of all time, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. I need to do a dedicated video on why I love this book so much. I've actually located the hardback and it's on the way to me. So I'm going to start a little Pachinko collection. And you might have noticed I've also got a copy of it on my desk. This is a, a copy that I'm annotating for my friend Sarah. And I'm really enjoying this annotation process. I'm taking it very, very slow. Next, we've got my Mina Lima books. Now, the really cool thing about these editions, minus the stunning cover, is that they're interactive. So lots of cool pop-outs. And yeah, need to collect more of these. Obsessed. And the next two shelves are just paperbacks. So going for like a blue green moment and then random. <laughs> like these are books I don't know where else to put pretty much. Onto the final shelf, we've got the Game of Thrones books up there, very lonely looking. And then we've got my Tolkien shelf. So a bunch of Tolkien books here. Um, these books used to belong to my dad. They're really, really old, like really old editions and quite rare, some of them, in fact. A lot of Lord of the Rings art books. We've also got The World of Tolkien and my gorgeous edition of The Hobbit. When I worked at Waterstones, I used to get 50% off books. And with my first ever paycheck there, with my little black card that gave me the discount, I bought this. Moving on to my pride and joy, we have my manga collection. So I've got the complete collection of Uron High School Host Club. I've also got the complete collection of Blue Flag and then some other random manga. So we've got The Way of the House Husband, which is like really, really funny. And A Man and His Cat, which is literally what it says. It's about an old man and he adopts this fat cat 
and yeah they become best friends quite a wholesome manga next we have my fruits basket shelves i have all of the collector's editions as well as the original editions this is my flex i will talk about it till i die i think about it at least once a day in fact this is my roman empire in the corner this is me as a lego person with a little book <laughs> We then have my Hannah Kimmy books. I believe I'm missing two, maybe three. And it's hard to find these books and you know, they're very expensive now. I don't even know if the series is out of print. All I know is that it's hard to locate, but on it, on it like a car bonnet, we'll find them, we'll complete this collection. I've also got Orange, the complete collection one and two. Yona of the Dawn one. Go Canal is my favorite series of all time, but completely impossible to find and Burn the Witch. I use these little figures. They're like fat Buddhas doing yoga. I bought them when I was in Bali. I use them as little bookends and big gap here in the middle, but that's fine. I can just buy more manga. Right, we're going into the dark corner now. We've got my Comey Can't Communicate series. I currently have up to volumes 23, so I need to buy the latest volumes for this one. It's an ongoing series. Same with Spy Family. I've only got one to six. Started reading this one this year. Hilarious. Absolutely love it. We have Bleach volumes 1 to 12. Don't think I'm going to continue with the series just because of the sheer amount of manga. Um, my bank can't handle it. And then the bottom shelf are my graphic novels. So we've got Heartstopper, Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2, Fangs. This is the Fruit Basket box set. Some more graphic novels here and children's books. And then we've got some Death Note. We've got some Junji Ito, Laura Olympus. And that's my bookshelves everyone, really really happy. I unhaul books at a ridiculous rate so I know a lot of people get vexed over the fact that I call this my library and technically a library is not until you have a thousand books but I'm never going to have a thousand books. Like if I read a book and it's bad, it's gone. Thank you for watching. If you're not already, follow me on TikTok. The username is on the screen. Give this video a like, follow for more bookish content. Bye bye!